yarn to bees again. <laughs> Back at work. So I'm attempting to make a Christmas stocking. I have attempted to make stockings for years and I have never gotten it right. And I'm just, I figured, forget it, I'm not making them. But now that I have a store, I figure, well, we'll try it again. And uh, so I'm doing. Um, try to cap these. Um, I'm going by a crafty concept. I'll leave her link down below. Um, she's got a great pattern. It's a DIY Christmas stocking. Oh, God, you guys. I whacked my head yesterday on my desk. I know. I, here's my desk. Nope. It's my desk. I whacked my head right here. So it's a little tender. Hang on, I gotta drop you guys here. So yeah, it's a little tender. It's like, ugh. I think I may have got a concussion. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm, I'm attempting to do her pattern. But look at this. Does that look like a stocking to you? <laughs> I'm really hoping that as it goes, it's going to like flatten out and be kind of stocking-ish. But as it stands right now, it's not. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. So we had a bit of an event <clears throat> happen here. Um, yesterday we had a guy come through. Tall guy. Big guy. He was carrying... He was um, had a rolling suitcase behind him. And... He was so drunk. It was unreal. Like, I thought he was going to knock over my, my display. And, uh, because the bathrooms are, like, right over here. So he came through this, the mall, the, the market, and went to the bathroom. And he was in there for a bit, and a customer went in there. And the guy, we can hear the guy saying, oh, I think it's about time you left. Okay. Um, well, he came back again this morning, like 10 o'clock in the morning, and he's just hammered. And again, goes off into the bathroom. So I was a little concerned because, you know, we, we have kids. We've got an arcade in here, and we've got kids that come in here and play at the arcade and everything. And they use the bathroom. So I was a little concerned that... Uh, you know, who knows? You don't know who these people are, right? Um, so yeah, I was I was concerned. So I sent Miles, the crystal guy over here. I sent him in there and said, you know, go find out what the guy's doing in there because he was in there for quite a while. So I put the word out to all the other vendors saying that this guy's hanging around. And now that he knows that we have a bathroom here, uh, I'm afraid that he's going to be hanging out here. So the owner sent a message and said, you know, if he becomes a problem, then call the cops. I'm going, I hope that doesn't happen. So anyway, <clears throat> um, I was going to tell you guys something else, and I can't remember what it was now. <sighs> I brought some more of my yarn in this morning. Ooh, me. I did not sleep well last night. I don't know what was going on, but I was like thinking about Christmas now and thinking, well, you know, maybe I should start doing my Christmas stuff and um, get it, start getting it ready for the shop. You know, because uh, I gotta make sweaters, and I gotta make scooties, and I gotta make you know hats and all that kind of stuff to put in here now. Mm. For those of you that are new, hi, <laughs> welcome. Um, 
I have a pattern in my Etsy page. It's down below. And it's for my scooties. It's a hooded cowl with a fur on it. Not real fur. <laughs> um, and uh, <laughs> I have to listen to this every day. Um, so anyways, uh, yeah, the link, the link will be down below. Um, yeah, for those of you new, those of you that are new that don't know, I have an Etsy page with some patterns on it. Um, I also have a another. I'm gonna be setting. Up. Oh, hang on. Sorry about that. The British guy came and talked to me. He loves talking. He loves talking about himself. He loves telling his customers how perfect he is. I have to listen to the same thing over and over and over. And it's like listening to my husband. <laughs> uh, except my husband's not as conceited to say he's perfect and he's tall, dark, and handsome and all that crap that, that this guy says. But anyway, he's, he's fun, to, fun to listen to. <laughs> well, no, he's not. I'm lying. I'm trying to be nice. <laughs> Anyway, um, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, the drunk guy. So anyways, I sent Miles in there and he got him out of there. So we're going to have to really watch to make sure that um, he's going to be okay. So anyway, I'm sure I was going to tell you guys about something else and I can't for the life of me remember what it is. And as long as he's here, it's like a excessively loud and obnoxious so I'm gonna sign off for a little bit and you know maybe see how this is gonna turn out of my life yeah I've had to frog this thing four times this is why I don't make stockings good morning yarnabies so I am at Walmart and I'm buying yarn <laughs> uh, the yarn selection there is awful and the prices are even more awful. But I was in the checkout and it happened to meet a lady there that works there. Her name's Elena. Hi, Elena, if you're watching. Um, and she uh, she came out, she says, are you a knitter? I says, no, I'm a crocheter. Oops, sorry guys. And uh, so I invited her to join our yarn family. I hope she does. And to come visit my shop and everything. So yeah, good day. Whew. So. Just leaving Walmart now. I have to go and pick up Bailey. Oop. I have to go pick up Bailey because I promised her I would take her to the shop today. I couldn't take her to the shop yesterday because we had the big street market. And uh, I've got my AC on. I hope you guys can hear me. Don't run over the people. Although some days I'd like to. I didn't say that. That was my inside voice. Um, so anyway, <clears throat> gotta go pick up Bailey and then I gotta go to the shop. I wanted to go to Michael's to pick up my yarn, but they're not open till 10 o'clock and I can't wait. So oh, I um, braved Walmart and it wasn't that bad because it's only like 9, 10, uh, 9, 10. So <clears throat> not a lot of people in there. God, you guys are just constantly moving. Stop it. <laughs> So yesterday was a good day. Um, I was kind of wondering, oh, good Lord, hang on. Okay, hopefully that's better. So, uh, yesterday was a good day um, with the street market and everything. Um, my sister Charlene came to the shop and I said, you know, can you watch the shop for me for a few minutes and I, I want to go check out the street market. Well, you know, <laughs> I 
I sat there for most of the mor morning, anyway, and I made like 40 bucks, maybe. My sister sits down on I leave, and she makes like 90 bucks. I'm like, what? <laughs> like, you go, girl. I'm not coming back to the shop. That's it. You're taking over. <laughs> I, don't, I don't understand it. Like, I talk to people, and they run away. You know, it's like, oh, I've been found out. I got to go. <laughs> or I don't talk to people, and they come in and look around, and then they walk away. <laughs> It's like, I can't win, guys. Like, I, I just don't know. I don't know. But anyway, so by the end of the day, it was a good day. I actually, I let myself out of my comfort zone a little bit towards the end of the day. You know, I, usually I try to be as professional as I can. And, <clears throat> you know, I keep, you know, I chit chat a little bit, but not, you know, that much. Yesterday, I don't know what happened. I was in a really good mood, I guess. And I just, I started joking around with people. And, you know, it's something I don't really do. Um, because I don't want to offend anyone. I don't, you know, I don't want to slip up and say something stupid like I do on my channel. <laughs> you know, um, but it, it kind of worked. And it, it you know, I, I, I just don't know guys. Like I, I'm not like Steve across the way where it's like, I just like, bah, 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 or George, you know, that can talk to anybody like, but yeah, it, I don't know. It was weird. It felt weird. It felt odd. Like I could tell I was not, I don't know. I was being more like I am with you guys than I should be professionally. Like, I don't know. But it worked. So, I don't know. I have to think about that. <clears throat> so, anyway. Um, yeah. So, I'm going to the shop today. My sister sold all my pickles. I had three pickles left. She sold them. She's not going to make more. And that's why I was trying to go to Michael's because I was trying to find the velvet yarn but they weren't open. So I ended up having to get the Bernat Premium in the green. I'm gonna have to double it up, I think, but I don't know how that's gonna work. They're not gonna be as soft. And I think that the whole thing about the pickles is that they're soft. So I'll make a couple, or I'll make one anyways, and see how it goes. I may just not even may not even deal with that but I'll just wait until I can get some more in and then I got I haven't used this yet the Brunat blanket sparkle I want to make an elephant an Ellie the elephant out of this I don't know if you guys can see the sparkle you can see it in the sunshine um it's it's really wow it's really sparkly in the sunshine so, anyways, I, ha I haven't made another elephant. I only made two. And they both sold. And it's so funny because the lady, the one lady that bought my Ellie, the one that had the orange peels on them, or the orange slices on it, um, she has a, one of those motorized scooters. And she's quite the character. And she goes all around Shimanis and talks to all the shop owners and... And stuff and she's really into the community and and all that she plays the organ um, at our, uh, our at our market every couple of months or, what, or every couple of weeks or whatever and um, on Canada Day she was all decked out in Canada stuff and Ellie the elephant that she has her in the basket I think I, I showed you guys a picture if I can find the picture I'll put, put it here um, but she has Ellie in her basket all the time and apparently people love her and she you know, talks about Ellie all the time. I noticed that the, uh, the octopus that she had in there is not in there anymore. <laughs> so, um, anyway, so she had Ellie all decked out in Canada, a Canada headband with little things on it. It was so cute. I should have got a picture, but I didn't. Dummy. <laughs> Um, 
so anyway, uh, what was the point of this? Oh, right. So I'm thinking I'm going to make another couple of elephants, but I wanted to try this sparkle yarn because I think it's really cute. <sighs> so I'm thinking about maybe contacting one of my yarn bees and asking her to do some shopping for me at Hobby Lobby for the shop. Um, but I'm not sure. I'll have to figure that out. Yeah. Uh, anyway. Okay, well, I'm going to go pick up Bailey and head to the shop and uh, see what we can get done today. Okay. So I just left Michael's. They finally um, restocked all of their blanket yarn and their chenille. But of course, in sandy fashion, they don't have the chenille that I want. I want the green chenille for my pickles and they didn't have it. Oh God, let's try this again. I don't even know how to open my bloody doors. Um, they didn't have it. <sighs> so, I got a different one. Hang on, let me turn you around. Let's see. The bags for my shop. So I got this one that I've never seen before. It's, uh, it's actually kind of a cool color. I hope you guys can see it. But it's chenille home. And the color is green. <laughs> okay <laughs> but it's like a light green and it's like got black speckles in it it looks really cool so I took everything they had <laughs> because I know that when I come back to get some more they won't have it oh let me get my car Ugh, so I know for a fact that if I try to go back they won't have any more <laughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. So I grabbed everything. I mean, it was only like four or five balls, but at eleven ninety nine, that's expensive. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. <clears throat> Having throat issues today. <clears throat> um. Oh, ah, this stupid thing. I tell you. Hold on. Okay, that's better. <clears throat> so it breaks my heart seeing $11.99, $14.99, because now that I'm working with the wholesaler, I know exactly how much they charge. So, <clears throat> yeah. 100% markup, guys. 100%. Makes me sick, <clears throat> but whatever. Whatever. So, um... The yarn is going well in my shop. I'm getting the word is getting out, so that's good. <clears throat> um, so I'm hoping maybe next month I'll be able to put an order in for Bernat. Um, oh, it's really hot in here <clears throat> for the Bernat yarn Donaldson. and uh, get yarn in. For me and for my friend Helen who makes um, amigurumi. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> I am so happy for my friend Helen. Hi Helen. <laughs> um, she went to the, she did the street market this past weekend and she killed it. Man, she, I mean, she makes amazing stuffies. The stuffed animal, the uh, octopus on Sandy Duda, the left and right crochet, that big octopus that she has on her table. Um, Helen made that <clears throat> and I sent it out to Sandy um, <clears throat> she does amazing work so she did really well and I'm so happy um, but but it doesn't matter what craft fair she does she always does well um, she does patterns from old souls and uh, and various other ones but oh Gustice well then, <laughs> that came out of nowhere. So sunshine in the dust. <clears throat> so anyhow, 
um, yeah, so she does those patterns and she does them really good. So again, uh, oh my, <laughs> okay. So <clears throat> anyway, uh, I'm gonna go cause I'm about to have a sneezing fit here. Uh, and I'm gonna go in home and make some pickles. Hey, Yarn Bees. Okay, so I'm starting to make my pickle. Camera's over there. Okay, so I'm starting to make my pickle, and I'm realizing that the yarn that I bought is the thick version of the chenille yarn. So this is gonna be a big pickle. <laughs> like, that's pretty thick. So I thought, okay, I tried using a six millimeter hook and that was too small. So I have to use a size seven hook. And I'm going, oh boy. So I'm gonna see how this goes. But yeah, it's, uh, it's gonna be interesting to say the least because It's uh, next door neighbor's dog is going a little bananas. Um, the pickle pieces on their own is going to be big size. Like, look at the size of that. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be big. So, well. We'll see, see how it goes. Um, I can hear those guys out there. We've been, our next door neighbor has a dog named Lou, uh, uh, Zena. And she's a black lab. She's such a pretty dog. And she's very quiet. And she, But she's like a puppy. Like she's a big dog, but she's like a puppy. And she just bounces all over the place. <laughs> well, they have a friend. It has the exact same dog, but her name is Nina. And you can't tell them apart, right? So Luna just came over to visit. So now they're both barking and running and playing. So, yeah. <laughs> Bailey doesn't like it. She gets all grumpy when she hears all that. Although she's sleeping right now. So she's uh, usually she's at the window just like. <laughs> So anyway, um, yeah, so I'm going to attempt to make this pickle and see how it goes. So I found a way, like with this, with the other yarn that I use, I, I think I dropped a, um, the size of the hook that I used and I made these and I think I tweaked the pattern a little bit. But I learned how to make them a little bit smaller. And I think they're cuter. So, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. But, yeah, this is going to be a fair size pickle. I don't know how much to charge for this kind of stuff. Like, the one pickle I had, the big pickle I had, I was selling for $20. And then the smaller pickles I was selling for 15 and now I don't know how big this one's going to be, but it's not going to be a $15 pickle, that's for sure. <sighs> so we'll have to see how big it turns out. But man, they use a lot of stuffing. <gasps> and my friend Helen was telling me, hi again, Helen. <laughs> uh, my friend was telling me that Michael's just put the price of the boxes, the, um, the stuffing boxes, they put them up to ten dollars. I'm like, what? So they used to be twenty eight, and now they're like thirty eight. It's not fair. Like, why do they do that crap? Like, there's no reason for it. So, yeah, I don't know. But I can always trust Helen to get the best deal on on stuff like that. So, I uh, have to see if she still gets her stuff at Michael's or if it's. If she's going to go somewhere else. But, uh, 
Yeah. But I mean, the, it does go a long way. A long way. Like, I'm... I don't even know how much I've got left in this box, but there's still quite a bit. Um, and I've done quite a few um, animals and stuff, so... This pickle, I think, is going to take quite a bit of stuff. So, yeah, there's the first. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a bit of a big pickle. But, let's see how it goes. Okay, so, a little confused. <laughs> Here's the beginning of my pickle. And I don't know how I manage it, but I've got all my bumps in a row like this. <laughs> They're supposed to be offset. <laughs> so I don't know how I managed to do this. So I don't know. Should I frog it and start again? Or should I just keep it the way it is? I think it looks a little silly like this. <laughs> I think I'm gonna frog it. <laughs> ah. <laughs> okay, that's better. I think that looks way better. <laughs> what do you think of this color, you guys? I think it's really pretty. It's actually it's a bit darker than what it shows on film, but or on video. But it's really nice. It's really pretty. Gives it kind of a two-toned look to it. I'm liking it. What I'm not liking is the fact that it's starting to hurt my hand. Because I'm a pencil holder, not a knife holder. So it's getting me right in here. So I have to change my hook or my hold to knife hold. And I'm telling you, I'm not a knife hold person. And I'm sitting there going, uh, 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 and it's like I don't understand when I've watched people that are knife holders, they're just like, doo -doo 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 -doo. when I'm doing it, I'm like, I'm, I can't figure out how to do it smoothly. So, yeah. So doing these pickles might be interesting. I totally forgot I had a coffee here. Yep, it's cold. <laughs> Story of my life. Do you guys get that too? It's just crochet and crochet and then you totally forget that you have a drink there. I do the same thing with cold drinks. My ice cubes are usually melted by the time I get to it. <laughs> so the idea of doing this was a great idea until I remembered that I don't have my safety eyes here. <sighs> I want to make all these things and I can't finish them because I have no safety eyes. You know, I'm going to have to buy a bunch of safety eyes and keep them, some at the shop and some at the house. <sighs> so, anyway, so I guess I won't be able to show you guys the finished pickle until my next video. Because it's going to be eyeless. You know, this really doesn't fit. Mm -hmm. It looks um, suggestive. Just saying. I got a pattern for that, too. <laughs> you remember the video I did a long time, excuse me, a long time ago, um, I made one for my daughter. <laughs> uh, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> moving on. Okay. I'm going to go, you guys. Um, wish me luck. And I will talk to you on my next video. Don't forget to subscribe and push the buttons, the like buttons and all that. I never say that. So yeah, do all the things. <laughs> okay. I love you all. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.